Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn how to create a simple development and testing environment on AWS. What's the agenda for today? We will explore the architecture we are going to provision on AWS. We will then execute a CloudFormation template that will provision the architecture we discuss. You can stop this video from there and then straight go into using the environment. Alternatively, you can explore further and then learn the cloud formation we have provisioned. So let's now explore the architecture. In the AWS account, I select a region. In this demo, I select Sydney region. And then I'm going to provision a very simple cloud formation template called Dew Setup Network. The location to download this Dew Setup Network is given in the description of this video. It's available under GitHub. This cloud formation template will provision a virtual private cloud with the CIDR block 10.0.0.0 forward slash 16. And in two availability zones, it will create two public subnets and it will create an internet gateway and also a public route table that route traffic to the internet. The cloud formation will also create two private subnets along with two private route table that will route traffic internally within this VPC. In our learning series, we will publish certain assets like databases, Elastic Cache in private subnets and some other asset that needs to face public in public subnets that includes public facing web frontends and also our development machine which we will remote login from outside internet. It will also provision a security group called MyDew Dew Machine Security Group and an IAM role called MyDew Dew Machine role. We will use this security group and the IAM role when we start our development EC2 instance. We are then going to start another cloud formation template called Dew Setup Windows Dew Machine that will spin up a Dew Machine. It's a Windows instance with some tools already installed. These tools are customizable if you customize the Dew Setup Windows Dew Machine cloud formation template. By default, we install a few software like Notepad, Visual Studio Code and chocolatey to name a few. You can stop from there and then start using this environment. Alternatively, if you stick into this video, we will explain how we have defined this cloud formation. Let's now go for a demo and then start this cloud formation so that we can spin up this development and testing environment. Go to the GitHub repository given in the description of this video and then download the zip file. Inside this zip file, you will find two files under cloud formation. One is called dew setup dash network template, which will provision the network. The other one is called dew setup dash windows dew machine that will provision the EC2 instance that we will use for development work. Go to your AWS console make sure that you are logging into the correct region that you want to spin up this cloud formation template and then go into the cloud formation section of your console. Let's create a cloud formation stack. Upload a template file and then browse to the file that you have downloaded. You first need to provision dew setup dash network that will provision the network. Give it a name. Make sure that you use the same name as dew setup dash network because the development machine starting cloud formation template depends on some parameters that this exports. Go to the next stage. Everything looks good. Make sure that you accept I acknowledge that AWS cloud formation might create IAM resources with custom names and then click create stack. You need to wait few minutes until this get provision. 
After that, you can spin up the next cloud formation template. Dew Setup Network has successfully been deployed. If you look at the resources, you will find that it has provisioned some uh, IAM roles, security groups, virtual private clouds, route table, to name a few. Let's now deploy the EC2 instance by spinning up another CloudFormation template. As you can see, the Dew Setup Dash network has already been provisioned. So when we start our development CloudFormation template, it can use us the resources the network stack has provisioned. Browse to Dew Setup Dash Windows Dew Machine CloudFormation template. Give it a name. Here you can give any name that you like. For the moment, let's use the same name as the CloudFormation template name. For the development machine instance type, you can select what is the size of the EC2 instance that you want to start. T3-.large is a good one. For the Dew Setup Network stack name, specify Dew Setup Dash Network. This is the same stack name that we have provisioned a moment ago. If you use a different name, you need to use that name here. EC2 Windows MEID, this is the base image that we will use to install software. Because this is a public facing website or development machine, make sure that you use a strong password. Go for the next step. Go for the next step and then create the stack. This will start an EC2 instance with some software installed which you can use for development and testing purpose. Wait some time until this CloudFormation provisioning is completed. Installation can take some time. We will install software like Chocolatey Visual Studio Code in this development machine. You need to leave enough time for them to install if you log in into this machine earlier than that, you will find those softwares are not installed. Our new machine dash Windows instance is now running, but make sure the status check has turned green so that you can remote login into this EC2 instance. I waited a few moments. Now it's in green state. Let's connect into using remote desktop client. Download the remote desktop file. Click connect. Username is administrator. And the password is the password you used when you created the CloudFormation template that provisioned this EC2 instance. Click OK, accept the certificate. We are now connected into our EC2 instance. If you waited long enough, this has provisioned some software like Visual Studio Code, Google Chrome, or any other software that you have specified in your CloudFormation template. Make sure that you wait long enough. It's very important because you can log in into this machine well before the installations are completed. You can start using this virtual machine for your development and testing work. Alternatively, you can stick until the next part of the video where we explore the content of the cloud formations we have provisioned. It's always a good practice to explore the cloud formation templates that you are deploying on your AWS environment. So the first one we deployed is Dew Setup Dash Network. Dew Setup Dash Network provisions the basic network that includes a virtual private cloud, some uh, public and private subnets, route table to route traffic internally and to the internet. It also includes an IAM role that we use in our development machine and also the security group that do machine users. Here you can see I also output some parameters. These parameters will be used by the next cloud formation that we are going to execute. That is the Dew Setup Dash Windows Dew Machine. That includes the subnets, IAM instance profile, so that if for some reason, if you have some issues with your development machine, you can just terminate it 
or terminate the cloud formation template and start the do setup dash windows do machine again so that you don't need to provision your network again and again every time when you have an issue with your development machine. Development machine cloud formation template, which is do setup dash windows do machine, depends on the parameters network stack outputs. All what it does is it starts an EC2 instance. The parameters are the instance size. You can change or customize it. T3 large is a good size for this development machine. You take the password, the network stack name. We use the network stack name from the network stack may have provisioned before. We will use that name to extract output parameters. And also the, the base image comes from SSM parameter store. So you always get the latest image ID. In the EC2 provisioning, we take the network stack name, security groups and IAM role from the output parameters and then start this cloud formation template. In the metadata section of your cloud formation template, you will find the software installation code. We download some files that includes AWS CLI from the official AWS CLI location. And then we run a PowerShell command to install Chocolatey. We use Chocolatey throughout this cloud formation to install different software packages from official Chocolatey repository. We enable Chocolatey to have no prompts so that it can continue without prompting the user. We then install things like Google Chrome, 7-zip, Notepad++ using Chocolatey. We do AWS CLI installation directly. You can also install Visual Studio Code and some plugins of Visual Studio Code using Chocolatey. You can restart the machine. You can also rename the machine if you want. It's completely up to you to customize this cloud formation template. In the user data section of your cloud formation template, you will find that we first change the password of this machine to the password we given in the cloud formation template. So even if you have any issues during software installation, you can remote login into this machine. We then use CFN init to kickstart the software installation. 